What's up YouTube, Jade Antastic here. This is Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3, but the purpose of this video is actually a debate style video, much like I did a few days ago when I said that Krillin was the best Z fighter. Not the strongest, but the best Z fighter is my man Krillin. This video is based around one of my favorite debates of the Dragon Ball series as a whole, is who, who is the strongest human slash earthling. Um, so that's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be a, a debate style video and there's two teams right now uh, of three on three, Krillin and Tien being the front runners. So let's get started with the battle and then I will explain to you my thoughts on the whole ordeal here. So basically there are the humans that you have to consider are obviously Krillin, Tien, uh, Oob, who a lot of people are just going to say right off the bat is the strongest human. There's Videl, Yajirobe, Hercule, Master Roshi, uh, let's see, I think, I think that's it. There might be a couple more that I'm missing, but I think, oh, Yamcha, obviously, I forgot to say Yamcha. So those are the Earthlings that we have to work with. Now, I'm gonna, right off the bat, just tell you who I think is the strongest Z, or not Z fighter, that was the last video, you're crazy. Who is the strongest human slash Earthling? Now, I think Krillin is the strongest human slash earthling. And that's not just because uh, Akira Toriyama said that Krillin was the strongest earthling slash human. I just think that based on the evidence of the show that Krillin is, even though a lot of people seem to believe that Tien was the strongest. The reason being, when uh, Dragon Ball was on, obviously Tien was the stronger of the two. Uh, he competed against Goku, and he was much stronger than Krillin at that point of the series. But they were both children, and Dragon Ball is obviously not the end-all, be-all, uh, since there is a completely other series, Dragon Ball Z. In which case, when the show starts out with the Saiyan Saga, it's to be believed that Tien is most likely stronger than Krillin. Now, we don't really have hard evidence that states that. I mean, he, his power level is a little bit higher, but as far as, like, technique and things... There's not really anything to state that, although Tien does take on Nappa with one arm, essentially, and hosts a pretty good attack against him. Uh, he, you know, obviously... Ooh, son. Um, <laughs> obviously, Nappa is just playing with him and pretty much wrecks him, but Tien does host a pretty solid advance against him. Stop solar flaring me, you punk. <laughs> so it's pretty much believed that at that point Tien is safely assumed stronger than Krillin. There we're locked on. So there's not too much debate there. However, Tien dies and he goes to train with King Kai. Now, oh, he's gonna switch out on me. So he goes to train with King Kai, and that's gonna hit me, and that's probably gonna kill me. <laughs> so Tien is going to train with King Kai. Now a lot of people are going to argue that in the manga. Tien doesn't actually train with King Kai. He just kind of stands there. But in the show, he absolutely trains with King Kai. Uh, and he actually takes on the Ginyu Force, uh, which I will kind of briefly mention in a bit. But while this is going on, while undebatably Krillin is uh, on Namek, Tien is on King Kai's planet. And being the person that Tien is, I, th I don't think that he would stay on King Kai's planet and not train because Tien is just that type of fighter. He's the person who does want to get stronger. Um, so, you know, if he's going to be on King Kai, on King Kai's planet, then obviously he's going to be training. So to say that he's not just because in some of the pictures of the manga, it looks like he's just standing there, not really doing much. That's going to knock me out. Uh, it's You can't really just base that enough and say that Tien didn't train on King Kai. So we're going to assume that Tien did train on King Kai's. Meanwhile, Krillin is on Namek going through all of these battles. He's fighting against the Ginyu Force. He's fighting against Frieza. But the most important thing that happens on Namek... Oh, great. Now we're Yamcha. The most important thing that happens on Namek is Krillin gets his true potential unlocked. Now, in my opinion, this is huge because even though Tien is training on King Kai's planet, this is essentially a cheater mode. <laughs> I mean, really. Because you have to assume that it's incredibly hard for humans to actually raise their power level. Uh, much harder than it would be for like Piccolo as a Namek who can essentially just fuse with people. Or Saiyans who get stronger just from losing a battle, you know, so they can get stronger from that. So humans have it a lot harder to gain this type of strength. And Krillin basically got a freebie and got his, you know, his true potential unlocked. So it's safe to assume that just that little bit, ow, 
just that little bit right there was more than the training that Tien would have had received on King Kai's planet because Tien never has his true potential unlocked. So Krillin's got a big step ahead of him there. Now we fast forward again to the Cell Saga and Krillin doesn't play too much of a role here. He fights um, incredibly imperfect Cell, uh, sort of. But he, he, you know, he doesn't play too much of a role in that part of the scene. Um, Tien, however, holds off um, second form cell, I guess you could say, so that uh, 18 can escape. But when he does this, he uses the tri-beam and it effectively takes all of his energy. Uh, and it, it wears him out. And not only that, it doesn't even damage cell. It holds him back. It holds cell back. And keeps him in that little tiny, you know, hole that was created. But it doesn't damage him. It doesn't do any damage to Cell at all. So Tien exhausts all of his energy using his best attack against Cell, not even in his strongest form, and doesn't really do that much damage to him. So that right there, you know, maybe Tien is as strong at that point, but I don't, I don't think he's stronger just because that's that's his all-out attack, and he doesn't do any damage to Cell whatsoever. Fast forward again, and uh, we're at the the Boo Saga. Now, Tien again uses his Tri Beam against Super Boo, uh, Boo Tanks actually, and it doesn't do anything. I mean, so Tien is you know supposed to be super strong again. Ah, I can't believe I didn't reach him. Tien is supposedly training over this time. He comes back. He's supposed to be really strong doesn't do any damage uh, so then from there you know we go to Kid Buu uh, because that is who Krillin took a shot at and Krillin took a shot with his Destructo Disc at Kid Buu and actually cuts Kid Buu in half now I know that Kid Buu can just regenerate so it's not that significant but it is kind of significant in the fact that it catches him off guard and cuts him in half so that's pretty intense I mean the Destructo Disc, in my opinion, is kind of OP. So, without discussing, you know... <coughs> excuse me. Without discussing who is actually the strongest, with power levels aside, if we evenly match them up, I would have to say that Krillin's Destructo Disc makes him the stronger, better fighter because it's more powerful than the Tri-Beam, in my opinion. Because the Tri-Beam is good, it's useful to hold someone down but it's not going to be winning any battles. Not only that, when in the crowd uh, of the tournament, Yamcha actually states that Krillin is the strongest. So that also implies that Krillin is stronger than Tien. So <laughs> there's all this evidence that... Uh-oh. Is that going to hit me right in the back? No. There's all this evidence that points to Krillin being stronger, and yet people still seem to think that Tien is the stronger human. And the reason that I haven't mentioned Oob in any of this. Is that the KO? Did I take them all out? Or is Videl still in here? Uh, Videl's still in here. She doesn't have much health though, right? No. <laughs> so the reason that I'm excluding Boo, don't catch me. Oh, she caught me. I exclude Boo from this because in Dragon Ball Z, not GT, in Dragon Ball Z, for one thing, Oob is uh, the reincarnation of Boo, Kid Boo. So he's <laughs> technically human, technically an Earthling, but he's basically the result of a wish so, to compare him against, you know, Krillin and Tien is kind of unfair because, you know, they, they, they actually are humans. Uh, well, you could uh, you know, possibly argue that Tien is not human, but uh, essentially they are. Oh, look, there's Tien. So, it's, it's just a little unfair for Oob, or for, yeah, for Oob to be a part of the debate because, you know, he kind of cheated with that whole wish thing and being the reincarnation of Kid Buu. I don't think he should get all that credit and uh, just assume. And not only that, he's completely unskilled. He doesn't have any skills as a fighter. He's had no training whatsoever until Goku trains him in the GT Saga and makes him a better fighter. So due to all of that evidence and all of these points, uh-oh, I soundly say that Krillin is the strongest human slash earthling in, oh no. <laughs> In the DBZ, you know, series as a whole, I'm gonna I'm saying Krillin, and you can't really refute it because Akira, Akira Toriyama basically said that Krillin is the strongest, so you can't really argue with that because he's the creator. But what I want you guys to do 
is argue your points with me. Do you think that the evidence shows that Tien should be stronger based on his training and things? Because people say that, oh, Tien would continue to train over this course of time and Krillin wasn't training and all that kind of stuff. I think Krillin is still stronger. You know, that boost on Namek, I think, really, really unlocks his potential. And the Destructo Disc is better. And Krillin, I think, just has more heart as a fighter. So, that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you agree with me. Let me know if you disagree with me. Let me know if I'm crazy. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Drop a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Stick around for more videos just like this one. And as always, I will talk to you in the next video. Later.